quick YouTube video to show you how to flush your Yanmar engine heat exchanger with Barnacle Buster. The engine is a Yanmar 4 LHA DTP 200 horsepower 4 cylinders from 2007. What you have to do is to recirculate the product in your raw water system using a bilge pump, a bucket and garden hoses. It's entering here. This is where it's normally connected to your mixing elbow. So the product is going in the opposite way as the natural flow of the engine and it goes through the whole system and it's coming out from there. I'll show you what I did. I disconnected the elbow pipe that is coming out from the raw water pump and that's our exit for our loop. It's a one and a half inch tube. So I put a one and a half inch connector and one and a half inch tube circulating coming into the bucket and then uh, I have a small bilge pump connected to the batteries 12 volt going back into the engine with that tube here is an inch and a quarter if you just replace your zincs they're saying it's better to remove them because it will dissolve the zincs but in our case we let them in because we had to change them anyway we had four zincs that we could take off easily and four of them are stuck we hope that uh, they will be dissolved and we can just put some new ones afterwards but the main reason we are flushing the raw water system is because the boat was running hot especially over two and a half thousand rpms we were running around 80 to 100 degrees celsius which is way too hot and then if we push in over 3000 rpm then the cooling alarm will go on we hope it will improve i showed you before that elbow connecting the raw water pump to the heat exchanger and we could notice there was an issue over there because that elbow pipe was super hard when the engine was running so it means that the raw water pump is building up a lot of pressure behind the hose it means that there were also not enough proper flow for the raw water to circulate in the whole engine. So we started with fresh water to see how much water will go into the engine. It takes about 5 liters which is roughly over a gallon. So we're using the barnacle buster concentrate and you have to mix it like 1 to 4 with water. So uh, this is one quart, it's about a liter. We'll have five quarts. The engine is taking about five quarts and we put another 10 quarts in a bucket. It makes a total of 15 quarts. So we use three of these bottles. Pretty expensive here, we're on an island of Bonaire in the Caribbean. That's roughly a $38 for, for the can. So you don't want to waste it. So we put two of them in the bucket and we put an extra one with the water that was already sitting in the engine. So it takes about 15 liters for three bottles. When you're starting to recirculate, the water is clear with a little blue tint. And within five minutes, it's uh, really changing to, as you can see, it's like gray, brown, really dirty. Foaming a lot in the beginning, so don't put too much water and solution in your bucket, otherwise so it will overflow. In the beginning, we didn't have that much flow because we were suspecting that there was a lot of marine growth in that engine. And as you can see now, it's really flowing good. Let's say you have to recirculate it for four hours. It's now two hours and it's already a major improvement in the water flow. We did find the parallel blades pieces that came off when we uh, flushed with fresh water after four hours. And this is how it looks like the product after four hours. Very dark. We're now running 2000 and a half RPM and as you can see the temperature is like 70 degrees. We get run for five minutes already at 2,000 RPM. 